Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. We are here in a new city. This is Tudor Isle. And look, this bridge crosses a river. It's rainy out right now. And, uh, and the road splits. And in the back of the town, we've got railroad track access there. We've got water access here. I've got a few roads built, and uh, we're ready to start Tudor Isle. Or, as it's going to be known, Grapey Woods. And this is going to be our plastic town. Now, I built these roads like a couple weeks ago, having thought that I measured things out correctly. But I cannot for the life of me figure out what I was thinking here. Um, so, I have a new plan instead. So we're going to get rid of a little bit of this. And by a little, I mean most. And what we're going to do is we're going to put an avenue down. Let's turn on the guides. Right on the old dotted line here. And I don't know if we'll keep this one or not. We'll see. We will see, we will see, we will see. This is going to be a uh, plastic town, you see. We're going to import oil. And we're going to export uh, plastic. And we're going to turn that oil into plastic. But one thing we need to do, and let's go ahead and slow down time here, is we need to measure out the correct distance from here. Ooh. I think 1060 will do. Let's try 1065. Okay, I think that's actually going to be our road. Right there. Um... So we're going to have to play this by ear a little bit, I think, but hopefully we will get this to work exactly the way that we want it to. Let's put in a couple of test factories. Oh, we want this. We want this one right here. Okay, there's one, and we'll probably go ahead and pause time here since this costs $300 an hour. And it's about to cost us more. Now this is a plastic polymizer. It turns oil into plastic. And while oil is cheap, plastic is expensive. And what we are hoping to be able to do is sell our oil as plastic. Now, as you can see, this slides in very nice right there. Um, hmm. And then we'll uh, we'll see how many of these we can fit in side to side. But for now, we'll start with this. Uh, we're gonna need that, <clears throat> and maybe we can go ahead and get rid of this for now. Um, and I'm not sure where the right spot to put everything is gonna be. We'll just we'll start out sort of rough and dirty here. Okay, we need industrial. So we'll put some there. I think we can purchase electric. Actually, you know what? Well, we probably can. We can probably purchase electric, right? How much is available? That's quite a bit from Bullet Town. We'll buy from Bullet Town. Boy, they have the most for water as well. And uh, South Barnes is actually going to take the sewage. Because they have 515 kilogallons using zero right and using zero okay so now we've got power water and sewage let's get back into our city here and we've got industrial so let's think about residential and commercial I'm thinking that those could go up here but I'm also thinking it might be smart to start them out here and, uh, you know, we'll just sort of see how this goes. Um, where is the right place to start? Maybe here. About here. So we'll hold shift. We'll draw it at 90 degrees. That works pretty well. And, you know, we're going to go every block. So we can really cram them in. And then once they're ready to move up to a higher density... We'll go ahead and accommodate that uh, as best we can. 
But for now, we'll start with this. Okay, let's get some zones in here. We'll put some, just a tiny bit of commercial on this first block. And then a little more on this one, since these are a little longer. And the rest of it can be in uh, residential. I think we've got a little too much there. But whatever, it's fine. We'll see, we can always adjust things later. Putting in the residential, gotta remember to name the city. Do 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 do. Um, one thing we'll also do before we turn on time, and then I think we'll turn on time, is just turn this off. Because we don't have any oil to turn into plastic at the moment, and we're not about to build a trade port to get it. So we're just starting off with residential, commercial, industrial. You know, just like, just like the good old days. Okay, let's crank things up to three. And also, tax the, uh, them at 12 and 11. And I don't think we'll have any high wealth people in this town, I don't think. We'll see. We'll give that a moment. Um, okay, so we can put some people over here as well. Which I'm thinking is probably a good idea. So let's give this about the same amount of distance. Do we want a bridge across here? Ooh, that's an interesting thought. I think the answer is no. We'll just create some traffic and see how it goes. Can I do this? No. That's okay though. We can go like this. And we won't zone on that sideways road, but we will zone on these. Um. Let's see, I want to, give me the guide, I want to build here and here, like that. Okay. Uh, and we could do right here as well. Alrighty, so let's zone some more. And uh, look, we're already making $2,500 an hour. This is fantastic. We'll go a little less on the commercial this time, I think. Um, maybe a little bit like this. Do any? Do we need any commercial out here? Kind of thinking no. Gonna try to keep the zoning off the perpendicular roads. Okay. I think we got a pretty promising little start here. Uh, we're gonna put our services here and we're gonna end up with some medium wealth, I would suppose. Uh, but that's okay, we got industrial going here. Um, fire is gonna be first. Do these catch on fire? Do I need to worry about those guys? I don't know, we'll probably stick this close though. Okay, there's a big boy, that's gonna cost us a lot of money. Let's put one of these on. And let's build a fire marshal's office, right? Right. We don't need hazmat, we don't need another truck yet. We do need a sign, for golly gee whiz. We put the sign in front of the, ooh, actually right there might be nice. For a kind of a change of pace there. Okay, we'll worry about the hospital and the police a little later. Um, we are going to be building our own water and sewer. Um, where? Here and here. To handle all of the plastic production that we're going to be doing. I don't know. Oh yeah, and we're going to put a trade port here and a trade port here. So this area can be basically dedicated to plastic and industrial, which is pretty big. It's pretty sizable. 
Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Now I'm thinking that we're gonna do this road and this road and this road and eventually delete the ones across the avenue from it. Lousy nighttime makes it so hard to see. So we'll be able to fit higher densities there. Um, maybe the hospital will go back here or back here or maybe the police station. I just don't know. We could spread them out that way. We could put the hospital here and we could put the police station here and then we would avoid having any medium wealth, which might be smart for just a plastic production town. I think that might be smart. Okay, how are we doing for electricity? We're fine, water's fine, sewer's fine. Okay, trash, we're gonna have to think about trash. Um, and we're probably going to have to think about it being over here. Right? Right. So I'm gonna try an experiment that I mentioned like way early on in this series where I put down a this and I put an incinerator on it immediately. While it's closed, while time is paused. And then I turn it off. Okay, and then we resume time. And let's just see if this never accumulates trash even though the incinerator is off. Because I think I accidentally got that to work at one point. And then let's see, do we want train or boat? Let's try train first. So we're gonna be, that's a recycling plant, we don't want that. Uh, trade. Okay, here is a trade deal. Hmm. Where it makes the most sense. Probably here. Okay, we plop that down, and uh, let's see. We're gonna be importing oil and exporting plastic. So let's go ahead and set those. We wanna import the oil, we wanna export the plastic, and we want to build the train deal. Uh, freight rail terminal. Yeah, we can put that right here. Cool, so now uh, the region can bring oil via train and it can carry away plastic via train. And once we start getting some oil, we'll open this bad boy up. We've got one delivery truck, right? So we can take oil from here to here. And then this should have a delivery truck, right? One, so it can take plastic from here to here that the train will then take away. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We're making 1,600 an hour, um, 600 an hour. But, oh look, here comes a train. Are we gonna get some oil? Yep, we just got 2,000 barrels of oil. So th we'll put this on, yeah, this is accepting local deliveries. Uh, so let's turn it on. Closed now hiring. We have 3,600 people. How many jobs do we have? Uh, 1,480 out of 800 workers. So less than half of all jobs are unfilled, which is fine. That's fine, fine, fine. Okay, we might run out of water or sewage fairly early. Earlier than I think because of how much this is going to create. We'll see how it goes. We will see, we will see, we will see. Um, eventually, this will be just imports and this will be just exports, maybe? I don't know, or maybe we'll do an import-export like this over here with the boats and just keep an eye on it. Um, and that will help us make our decision. Okay, so let's go ahead and zone some more because why not? And honestly, we should be drawing more roads too, because this is all gonna stay low density for a while, but we're gonna need a lot of people to work in the plastic factory. 
I do believe. Um, okay, let's try an experiment where we put the commercial near the avenue. So rather than having residential on either side of it, we have it all on the river side. And just see how that goes. Okay, maybe health is becoming a problem. Maybe we could stick the hospital right here. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like spreading these out. Uh, we should plop, probably plop down a wellness van right away, also. Um... Am I still going to be able to put a trade port here? Or did I just mess up? I mean, we've got the money to mess up. We're treating zero patients. Okay, real quick, let's get rid of this. <laughs> okay. Um, and now we'll build we'll build it over here, like I think how we wanted to. Should have given that a little more thought. Oh well. Uh, wellness van, okay. That could go across the street. I don't see why it wouldn't. And of course we need the sign. Um, hmm. I don't know where I want to put the sign yet. I'm going to hold off on the sign. Okay, so now we can still stick... We can stick police up here, and it's not going to matter. It's not going to harm... In fact, do we want the fire up there, too? I mean, I think it's too late for that. Ooh, we're getting a lot of traffic here. Ooh, we're getting a lot of traffic here. Okay, let's make this better. We're probably going to have to build some bridges. High density, high density, high density, high density. Yeah, because everyone's taking this to the industrial, right? That makes sense. This is definitely going to be a traffic town. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Are we accumulating trash here? We're not. Have we picked up any trash? We have. But the incinerator is off. Something to keep an eye on. Okay, so I suppose we can we could build more bridges here eventually. Um, we'll just see how this goes for now. Hmm, do we do all these at 90 degrees to what they are? That wants to connect there, but honestly, this is going to go away. And I just don't know if it makes sense to have all this be plastic too, but I kind of want to push the boundaries. I kind of want to see what I can do. Um, we could put more industrial here, but I'm actually I'm thinking what we want to do Is just bring this All the way down so this will be offset a little bit And Azure Alliance right now is thinking inaccuracy Because I'm putting it on the edge of the map, but that's okay He can think what he wants and he's right about much But I do think I'm better at enjoying the game uh, okay, 1,056. 1,070. That will do. Do I really want to get rid of this just to move it a little closer? Sure, why not? Would I do like 1065 with the other one? And then before we build too much here, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. This is a bit goofy. But as I recall, we needed this. I mean, I guess you'll see eventually. Okay, that we should be able to do. And then this... Yeah, that's fine. Can we do it from the intersection? Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sweating that. 
All right, so we can put more plastic factories over here. Now, speaking of plas plastic factories, how are we doing here? We're, uh, we got a thousand barrels of oil. We've produced... Oh, there goes some plastic. Are we making money? We're losing money hourly. But we're making money selling plastic. We're buying oil. We're selling plastic. This is full. We don't need any more oil. Okay, so now the idea is that the distance between these two roads is similar to the distance between these two roads, and I can pack in more plastic factories. But where the next one is actually going to go is right here. And I'm going to try not to go too crazy with the expansion of this. We'll see. We'll see. I sort of did that with the, um, the metal. Expanded really fast. Because I just needed to get it going. I, you know, I don't want to go too slow either, right? And that's a... That's an important consideration, but we are going to need some bridges here. So I think the place to build bridges is going to be here because because of considerations. Where will this one go? Like that. Okay, and can I connect this? I can. That gets rid of a couple of houses. That's okay. Any of these people ways to get over here. I don't suppose this one will work. Yeah, because of that intersection right there. So it's fine to do it like this, I think. And let's go ahead and upgrade these right away to... Um, I'll try medium. Did I fail to succeed with this middle one? It seems as though I did. Did I fail twice? Is there something wrong with this? Okay. We got that sorted. I took a screenshot by accident. Uh, okay, so all these people can get to work this way. Which is fine. This should probably be an avenue at some point. We'll just see how many of these plastic factories we can fit in. Maybe I could put an avenue right here. Actually, just as close as I can. Almost. Almost. Oh, almost. Almost. Okay. Whew. That, like, exhausted me, <clears throat> how hard that was to do. Okay, so we could stick a couple more of these guys right here, and then draw another avenue, and then maybe even stick a couple more. But, we also need to think about putting in our own water and sewage eventually. And, I'm not sure where power's gonna go. Maybe here. And maybe we'll connect this, then. Probably an oil power plant right here, and we'll connect that. And really, I mean, what what harm would that do? Not much. Okay, does oil expand the way I want it to? I never remember which way this goes. So maybe we just offset it a little bit, and that's okay. We can expand in either direction. Look, I could fit a factory in on the left side of this if I wanted to. Okay, we'll put that there. We'll turn global deliveries on. Then we'll edit it right away. We want to get rid of this. Oh, and see, it does go this way. Okay, well, that's okay. You put that there. Put that there. And that there. And that there. And boy, is this going to be an expensive town. But now we're going to have plenty of power. Plenty of power. Which will be good, because these things suck up a lot of power. And look, we already got a factory replacement right there, like I thought we would. So, no big deal. How are we doing here? Still zero trash, with zero incineration. I like that. Are we picking up all of our trash every day? So far we are. Okay, what do we got? We got 5,500 people here. We're losing eight grand an hour. But we're making plastic. 
making plastic out of oil. We're not losing money buying oil very fast anymore because this will only use as much as it uses. This cannot seem to keep plastic very full. But we're not filling up on either of these either. So the delivery trucks are keeping up with the production. This just, the trains are really keeping up with the plastic. There must be high demand. And I, that's not actually true, but you know. It's funny to think about. Okay, let's think about crime and let's think about education. We have four crimes committed per day. Um, where could we stick one of these that it would not accidentally... How about here? Right? Or maybe... See, I just don't know where it's going to go if it goes over here. Oh, we could put it right here. Oh, it's going to create more traffic over there, though. How about we put it... Ooh, that's going to create medium wealth. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. We're putting a trade port over there. Yeah, I say we put this up here. It's the most logical place for it. Even if it's kind of a terrible place for it. <clears throat> yeah, once we add bridges here, too, I think we'll be sitting pretty. As far as all that is concerned. I do want to think about other utilities, right? We'll keep an eye on water and sewage. The moment those become a problem, we need to address them. Um, but they're not a problem yet. How are we doing job-wise? Zero unemployed. 1,100 out of 2,400 total jobs are available. So... Um, we probably want to increase density before we increase the number of jobs by too much. And these people are getting ready. They're getting ready. So let's, um, before we forget, let's increase the density of every other road here. Like that. And then we'll eventually increase the densities of these as well. And then we'll get rid of the other ones once density actually goes up. And hopefully that will work out well for us. <clears throat> uh, fire's fine, hospital's fine, no police station yet. So has the time come? Perhaps. We could actually stick that over here, but I don't think we want to. Let's zoom in a little bit. We should crowd the school, I think. Except then we can't expand to the left. So let's crowd the school as much as we can, yeah, without getting a red... So boom, just like that, we got our cops. And let's put in one detective car so we can arrest criminals before they commit crimes. What a glorious day for crime prevention. We need a sign. Um, hmm. I don't really like any of those spots. We could stick it here. We could stick it across the street. Because we're not sticking anything between the train track and here, I don't think. Yeah, like here... There's a pretty main, like, bay of doors right there. So I say we stick it, like, right across from that. And cheat it toward the middle a little bit. Is that the right dot? These are the kind of d decisions that keep me up at night. Agonizing over where to put the police sign. That fright's not doing anyone any good. But it's not doing much harm either. It doesn't cost us very much. Um, let's, boy, let's upgrade the road here. Right here, because this is uh, medium density. And I'm not sure why. High density, high density, high density. Thank you very much. Okay, same with this. I guess I just never updated these. Okay, and then we will stick a lot of utilities in there eventually. Um, that's high density. This is probably going away. Just not sure when yet. That one's high density now. I'm pleased with that. Pleased with the way that this town is going. Let's think of... Okay, so we got education revving up. We got fire and hospital and police. So more utilities or more plastic production, I think, is next. Um, or more sims. So you are sort of waiting for the density to go up here. So while we're waiting, let's upgrade some more roads. 
I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. I don't know how the growth is going to work here. Probably want to do this one and not this one. Hmm. No, we can. I think we just dezone this. Because later, it's probably going to become a street that's not zoned on, but connects these two halves. This. Uh, maybe we dezone this one. Actually, <clears throat> now that I think about it, and we rezone this one, where was our commercial? I'm gonna have to zoom in, do a diagnosis here. That hot dog house is probably commercial. What is this place? Takiria. Cheap, fast. Sounds like my kind of store. Uh, okay, and then we can redo the um, residential as well. Whoops, 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 whoops. Don't want to do that side street. That dirt road. Wait, is this a commercial right here? Oh, it is. Well, what do you know? You can stay a commercial, that's fine. this that needs to be residential. Is this house accidentally commercial now? No, that's residential. That's fine. Okay, let's upgrade the rest of our streets as well in this area. These side streets can be upgraded without fear. <clears throat> and then I think we leave this one, although we could just dezone it and then upgrade it. We'll probably delete it later. I just don't think it needs to be upgraded. Leave it be. Oh look, what do we have here? You burned down? You live right across the street from the greatest fire station in the history of humanity. Fine with you for burning down. Look at these houses building on the... I don't want you building here. Whatever. It's a... It's a moot point. <clears throat> facing the avenue and I don't like it but they'll be gone soon enough okay what do we do do we would just wait for the density here I think we wait for the density to go up and when we have more people um, we can cram some more jobs down here and uh, expand our plastic producing empire so electrics fine water and sewer are holding steady from the region trash we're picking up Boy, by 8 a.m. we have them, almost all of them. And nothing. See, that works. You, you build one of these and you turn it off and time is frozen and you add an incinerator and you turn that off. Okay, and then you start time again and then you turn the whole thing on and you just never accumulate trash. See, it says it's being processed. But this isn't on. I don't know if it's creating the pollution or not. Oh, it looks like we're getting a little bit of tech here. That's cute. Okay, and as these, ooh, these are gonna need workers. I don't know that we want them to be medium density. <clears throat> but we'll leave well enough alone for now because the commercial are gonna want freight producers. So yeah, so all right, so I'm gonna wait for this density to go up. Look, we've already got an apartment building going. I'm gonna stop the episode here and uh, we'll finish this town in the next one. Um, I'll get a good amount of density off camera, I think, and then we'll just build a, an amazing amount of plastic factories. Hopefully we'll have enough workers to work in them. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time in the basement. We wanted to just take a quick second and say thank you to all of our patrons and members and subscribers over on Twitch. You guys are really making a big difference because while the basement is a place that we just want to be able to have fun and make great content, more importantly, it's about helping people have a sense of connection and a safe, awesome, friendly place to go when they're hanging out on the internet. Your commitments make it possible for us to expand the reach of The Basement through all the different channels and all the different content that we're making. Thank you for helping The Basement be the friendliest place in the universe. In The Basement.